Cody Shade, and we're here with you today at Ibex, and we are gonna give you the first in-depth review of the 10LHG. The 10LHG Ibex stands for 10 Little Horn Garage. You can see the cargo area behind me, and this will be the first unit in the Ibex platform that's under 2,000 pounds of towing weight. It still features all of the things that you expect in your camper, including a huge water capacity, a full outside kitchen, and check out this awning. I cannot wait to show you what's inside the 10 LHG, but let's start right here on the outside. You can see the 10 LHG, although is a compact size, misses nothing that you're looking for in the perfect camper. There are many tow vehicles on the market today that can only tow 3,000 to 3,500 pounds, and we want to offer a fully self-contained product by Ibex that still allows you to do all of the, the, the camping, store all the gear and all the creature comforts that you want in your camper in a package that you can tow with a vehicle that's already in your garage. Now you can see the height of the 10 LHG is just under seven feet. So you can store it in a, in a, uh, a smaller area than you would be uh, able to in a typical RV. You can also see that uh, the platform is slightly narrower than the common eight foot size width that you're gonna see in a conventional RV. So how do we cram all this stuff into a 2,000 pound or less than 2,000 pound kit? Let me show you. It starts with our outside kitchen. Now this outside kitchen rolls completely outside on this tray and features not only a two burner cooktop, of course you've got your bottle opener here on the outside, your fresh water source. So many small units today have a 10 or 15 gallon fresh water capacity, not at Ibex. Not only do you have a 30 foot spray hose uh, that you could spray both sides of the unit, anything that you need a fresh water supply for, but you have a 30 gallon capacity. And again, you look at the size of this unit, 30 gallons of fresh water capacity is the same size water capacity we would put in a unit that's three or four times this size. So we are not cutting corners on features, although it's in a little bit smaller package. And I just want you to, uh, to remember that when you're looking for your next travel trailer out there. Now, the great thing about the Ibex product is that with so many name brand partners that you're gonna recognize when you purchase the product, brands like Rhino Rack on the roof, the Truma refrigeration system, these are brands that have been in the Overland marketplace for a long time and, and will give you the peace of mind to carry and keep your uh, perishable items cold on any length of trip that you have. Again, completely standard equipment on the Ibex 10 LHG. Now you can see from a storage standpoint, you do have some storage inside your outside kitchen here. And again, this entire tray rolls inside the unit. You can operate the, um, the Truma cooler in the closed position. So the idea is, is that when you head out for your trip and you fill up your perishable items in your Truma cooler, Again, you can regulate the temperature down to uh, a refrigeration temperature or even a freezing temperature. If you run low on battery, you can always add ice like you could in a conventional cooler, but ice is not needed in this piece. This runs on 12 volt. It's got a very low 12 volt consumption rate, and we have designed this, uh, this package of products to allow you to camp longer and go farther off the pathway so that you, don't, you do not experience any range anxiety when you are out camping uh, in the bush in your Ibex product. Now, when this tray slides in, of course all of this is uh, protected inside the unit itself. You've also got this great outside pantry. You've got a, um, a great little prep station here that you can carry all your dry goods if needed. You've got a, a cool little dump sink here on the outside. This dump sink is great if you wanna store some dry items in here. Of course, you can use it if we need to wash dishes or um, you know, hold any kind of water capacity. Um, so, you know, we try to think of pretty much everything. You've also got this really nice storage apron. You've got a great little uh, attachment here to hang your paper towel holder, all of your utensils, uh, your cutlery. All those items are at a, uh, uh, just a, 
just a touch away. You also have outside here our 300 pound capacity fenders. Now, I wanna point out something very important to you about these fenders. Most trailers that are, that are narrower than eight feet require an exterior fender, but here's what's important about the fender on the Ibex product. You'll notice that this fender is attached directly to the chassis of the unit. It features a 300 pound weight capacity. So when you're unloading bikes and gear, snowboard gear, ski equipment, fishing equipment, you can stand on these. There's a 300 pound capacity. Don't try this on a normal RV lot on a lot of other units that have fenders like this on the outside. Even if they're metal, they're not meant to be, uh, they're not meant to support the kind of weight uh, of a human being standing on them. Not at Ibex. At Ibex, these have a 300 pound weight capacity. It doubles great on both sides. We use ours as, um, you know, an, an extra table, a place where you can use as a prep station, uh, you know, obviously in your outside kitchen area. It's protected under this 270 degree awning, but just a great uh, multi-purpose flat area for you to use um, on the outside of your Ibex. So although this package is slightly narrower than a conventional RV, it still packs the performance that you're not going to see anywhere. And let me tell you a little bit more about that. The 10 LHG now features the Kurt Beast Mode suspension system. This unit is riding on a completely independent axleless design that's going to allow for complete independent travel from the door side to the off door side. Now, this is equally important whether you are on the pavement or off the pavement. So whether you plan on taking your new Ibex off-road or on-road, if you are looking for the safest tow with less bucking and less sway, you need to look underneath the unit that you might be purchasing and see if it includes the beast mode suspension. Now, speaking of this 270 degree awning, this is something that really sets our product apart. We've got an exclusive partnership with a company out of Australia. It's called Rhino Rack. Rhino Rack has been around for decades and Rhino Rack provides the highest quality overland components that are on the market. You're gonna see their brand name out there and you see upfitters across North America and across the world who stock and house Rhino Rack product. And we offer this 270 degree awning. It's uh, over a thousand dollar retail value and it's standard on all LHG Ibex. And what sets this one apart is that you can see you've got 270 degrees of protection from the sun, from the rain, from any of the elements that are out there. And although you'll see this, um, this material is very lightweight, it's very easy to set up, this thing can take a beating. I have personally seen it in winds up to 20 or 30 miles per hour. I can tell you that when you have these, um, when you have these bat wing legs uh, anchored to the ground, this thing is, it will take a lot of force. The other great thing about the 270 degree awning, they do have panels that attach to each one of these sides. So if you wanted to enclose the 270 degree area, you could, you could definitely do that. You can see, um, you know, at the back of the 10 LHG, it does cover uh, the complete rear end of the 10 LHG. One question that we have gotten um, uh, recently, and I, and I kind of just want to address in this video, but you'll notice that the, the front edge of the 270 degree awning does not cover the outside kitchen. People say, well, why wouldn't they have designed it to cover the outside kitchen? There's a good reason as to why. You can, you can see our two burner cooktop there um, by code cannot be underneath this awning, okay? So there are ways, um, you know, some of our customers have liked to set up a, an easy up or something to protect this, but you could easily, um, you know, add those panels in and have this protected area, but we can't have the 270 degree awning directly right above the cooktop, and I'll show you why. As these arms go up and down, they articulate. So on a rainy day, you can see we can pull this down, we can drain water or precipitation wherever we want to at the campsite, uh, which makes it really great. Um, these legs are on a knuckle that fold right up into itself, and you can have this thing put away in under five minutes. So the 270 degree awning is attached at, uh, to the roof of the 10 LHG Ibex via two vortex bars. 
So these two vortex bars on the roof uh, are also from Rhino Rack and they attach to RVT tracks that you've heard us talk about before with all of our Ibex products. Those RVT tracks from Rhino Rack, we are the only uh, OEM direct partner with Rhino Rack who installs these from the factory. So if you have uh, gear storage bags or you know any kind of ski bags that you can attach to the roof either via vortex bars or RVT tracks, they are already on the roof of the Ibex. So if you're looking for a new travel trailer out there or, or a small towable product to take on your next adventure, make sure that it can haul your gear because for us, the number one focus is to create a product that can haul your gear and sleep you comfortably on any adventure that you wanna go on. And speaking of, of hauling your gear, check out what we have on the back of the 10 LHG. So one of our, our, um, our favorite features is the fact that this, uh, this enclosure folds down. You can see a ramp door. We do have um, added the small dovetail on the back this year for 2023. We've done this for a couple of reasons. For one, the departure angle, we wanna reduce as much as possible. If you have a low clearance vehicle, and again, with 55 inches of interior height, I'll show you when we go in there, you can haul dirt bikes, you can haul ATVs, you can haul any two-wheeled, three-wheeled, or four-wheeled machine that is 55 inches or lower. Sometimes, if these have a lower profile uh, ground clearance, you may need this additional dovetail, okay? Uh, so you've got a really nice departure angle there. To be honest with you, when we've camped in this unit and when we see customers camping in here, they love the idea that this is open to the elements. You've got this awesome insect screen to keep the bugs out. There's a screen door on both sides. So this does add an element of still camping outdoors, although um, you've got the, the comfort of camping inside of uh, your 10 LHG. Um, so with this ramp door on the outside and your storage inside, you've got an 80 inch uh, storage area that's 55 inches high. Uh, and inside, you've got a full queen size bed. I'm gonna pop this open and I wanna show you a couple things inside here. Let's check it out. <clears throat> so you can see this, um, this insect screen comes standard. It zips right up the middle for easy exit and entry. But inside here, we have <clears throat> quite a cool setup. And let me, let me walk you through what we, uh, what we have in here. You can see we have one side that's the, the bed is in the down position. Um, this is in, in sort of a chase lounge position. You can see you've got uh, a pillow here at the head of the bed. Excuse me, when this folds flat, this piece, this will become a true 80 inch bed, okay? The side I'm sitting on, you can see we have in our chair position, we even have our uh, standard dinette set up inside the unit here. A great place to hang out between mountain bike runs or ski runs. You do have a full size air conditioner in here, okay? So a trailer this size with a 13,000 BTU air conditioner, unheard of on that air conditioner, really important feature. You do have a heat strip, a 5,000 BTU heat strip. So on days where there's a little bit of a chill in the air, and uh, one of the reasons why Ibex uh, can camp a little bit later into the season than a, lot of, uh, than a lot of the products that are out there on the market is because um, we offer those little camper-friendly features that allow you to camp later into the year. That, that little heat strip on the air conditioner uh, is a great heating element for a unit this size. Now, behind me, you can see we have a ton of storage. Uh, as with all of our Ibex product, we only use 12 volt TVs, okay? You're starting to see this come alive. You're starting to see some of the other uh, OEMs and some of the other um, folks offering travel trailers in this segment use a 12 volt TV. Very smart, great for the consumer, and this means that you can use the TV on battery power. If you get stuck somewhere that's in a storm or you need to check out what's on the local news, you can do that in an Ibex whether you're plugged into shore power or not. That is very important. Uh, of course, we're, we're uh, lit up inside here with all LED lighting. You can see behind me, this is our converter. Um, this is the same 8735 converter that we use in our full-size travel trailers. So there is plenty of horsepower in the electrical side of this unit for you to add any solar components you want, okay? This is, um, this is a system 
uh, 8735 system from WIFCO. You can add any uh, solar components that you want uh, to this unit, but it wouldn't take a lot. It wouldn't take more than a few hundred watts of solar uh, to power most of the systems in here. Uh, we do have customers out there that are powering their air conditioner um, with, with uh, some of their um, uh, customized systems. Uh, I would urge you to check out some of our forums to, to learn more about that. But this LHG, if you're, if you're looking to, to camp in a vehicle that you already own that might only have a 3,000 pound towing weight, um, this unit that weighs between 1,800 and 2,000 pounds should be on your radar. You're gonna start, see, uh, start seeing this hit the lot soon. If you want any more information about Ibex or the 10 Little Horn Garage, visit forestriverinc.com slash ibex or check out our social channels daily for updates up to the minute.